Hey girl. Hello Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. Uh, keep in mind with any type of general reading, you have to rely on your intuition, right? You have to, you know, I could be talking about a situation when it comes to a career and for you Libra, it could be pertain the cards could be speaking their message in a way of uh, love for you or in a relationship. So I do ask you when you do watch my general readings uh, to rely on your intuition when you are receiving these messages from me. Um, if this reading is helpful to you and it gives you a sense of direction, I would love for you to give me a like and comment and subscribe because it does help out with my channel so much. I would love for you to let me know how these cards resonate with you. Um, just because I like, I'm nosy, I like to know everyone's business, right? I just like to honestly just know how uh, each card calls out to each person. I always find it so interesting. So uh, yeah, let's just get started right now. So I pulled three rows for you, Libra. I have two rows where just like general messages and then our last row, that's where we're going to get into like the nitty gritty, right? And I want to just tell you all good things. I like to let people know of like growth or like things that they need to work on to like further themselves this week, right? Because that's, let's get some extra value out of this rather than just hearing about some good things right and already right off the bat we're getting some clarifiers but let's just jump into your first row let me actually walk you through what your first row of cards are first before you talk about the clarifiers but uh your first card is the seven of earth which is talking about um seeds well planted this is like a card of where it's just like continue your work this week libra of really investing in yourself really put like those steps that you're taking each day or each hour each week of um building your foundation basically whatever your foundation looks like this could be a foundation for your work life again like where you're um in terms of like your career where it's just like the small steps that you're taking in your career it's making a difference right or this could be in pertaining to uh your love life and where you're trying to invest in a relationship with someone maybe you're trying to get someone's interest or maybe you're trying to what you know whatever the case may be this is just an overall like good card of uh seven earth things like continue what it is that you're doing keep with those high vibrational energy then we have the king of air and this is asking you to speak your mind with confidence be bold be you know this is kind of like i feel like more of a reaffirming card for the seven of earth giving you reassurance of like you're on the right path where you're doing the right things you're doing the right things continue planting your seeds and it's going to grow like yeah, this is like a time for you to just realize like the work and the effort that you're putting into is not going unnoticed. Um, that's going to probably be the title of this video. It's just like your work's not going unnoticed, Libra. We have a six of fire. This is where I talk about like your work isn't going unnoticed because we have the six of fire talking about, you know, this is just a very good victory card, Libra. This is talking about how you're going to be seen more public recognition. This is what this card talks about as well. So if it's like for you, Libra, if you're uh, in terms of your work life or career, if your passion isn't, or maybe you're like trying to get a creative project off the ground, this is a card saying just like continue what it is that you're doing, Libra, because you're going to get that recognition recognition by the correct people eventually. It may not be like this immediate week sort of thing, Libra. I don't want you to think as if like this week is something's going to miraculously happen and you know you're just going to like skyrocket. You know, it's going to be a process, but this is just overall your first row, Libra. It's just letting you know you're on the right path. And we get into the clarifiers, right? Really good cards, though. Um, we have the four of coins. So this is, again, like more reassuring energy of like continue on the right path, right? And then, interestingly enough, my phone is going off. Interestingly enough, we have the lover's card and then the devil card going together. And with this, this is what, <laughs> what this is telling me is that, uh, I feel like for some of you Libras, actually, I might want to pull a couple more cards. Let's see if I can uh, get a little bit more clarification on that. I feel like with you Libra, because the lover's card talks about like, you know, like this is, I feel like again, being, because this is like the clarifiers for the first row and I was talking about how just continue what it is you're doing. You know how I talked about like, this could be relationship or work life. I feel like this is like the six of fire energy where it's just like this card was taught, like giving you more reassurance. Like it's going to be successful in terms of like uh, a passion project or career and social things. And uh, your lover's card is more so for those who are interested in some type of relationship as well. But also I feel like, because just looking at your other cards, I feel like there's like an underlying message that's trying to be had with the lover's card as well, because it talks about making a decision. When you pair it with the devil card, yeah, I feel like Libra, I feel like the theme for you is going to be not to get overwhelmed. 
not to you know this is like when you see like that seven of earth energy because this is a good spread right you hear just like things are finally going in your way i'm hearing sort of thing so it's like with the lover's card and the devil card it's just like yeah there's some good things here but don't get con too consumed by it just because there's good things you still want to take a moment for yourself the snow leopard comes in asking you to just take a breather still remember who you are don't get too lost in the work because yeah like good things are happening for you right now um but don't overwork yourself right any <laughs> sort of thing but again i love this we have the ladybug card now i'm gonna just like give the disclaimer right here i love this so much because i'm a libra scorpio cusp and ladybugs have been always been a sign for me for a very long time and they recently have been showing up a whole bunch i love this even more um well uh but yeah this card i'm gonna just read the card and what it says this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all the good things in your life i want to make that a key note be willing to receive it so it's like that's the thing as well when it comes to like the lover's card and the devil's uh card being together with this energy of your first row libra i feel like the biggest limiter for you is going to be about it's going to be about committing to it or like not allowing your mind to be too consuming of um what it is that you're doing or like overthinking that's what i'm trying to say don't overthink it don't you know just keep doing what it is that you're doing don't get too lost in it right um don't overwork yourself just be in the moment be present don't feel like don't be in a rush right three different moon cards came out for you libra so you are good enough full moon in virgo yeah so be willing to receive the good things in your life you are good enough right so for those maybe if you're um realizing that you're worth being seen worth being you know because we have that six of our what card was it yeah six of fire talking about that recognition right um conclusions are within reach reach full moon and eclipse so things are building up for you right you're very close to achieving your goal uh, Libra, this is, <laughs> I love that the, I'm a Libra right now. This is like so refreshing for Libras, I feel, because it's like the energies for Libras has just been like a lot of just heaviness. And like, this is just such a good week, Libra. I love it. Um, we have the second row now. Let's talk about the second row. We have the King of Fire. We're just talking about um, focusing, right? Talking about focusing and also communicating with people. This is like a collaborative part as well. When you're the King of Fire, you're not afraid of collaborating with people and sharing energy, sharing ideas, but also you're being the King of Fire and taking the leadership role in your life. So yeah, this is really like you're taking a forward action into your life libra and events are moving at a fast pace <laughs> delays are finally over eight of fire this is beautiful libra this is literally like all these cards are just flowing so well together libra in the sense that it's just like the energy is gaining momentum they, like your <laughs> conclusions are <laughs> i'm just gonna i feel that this is meant to be but like your conclusions are within reach um and all of that so it's like just very good cards and i'm gonna go into before we go into all these clarifiers here i'm gonna go into this last card the three of water a celebrate like this is uh, i love this i'm gonna just show it to you libra like a celebration like this is just a really good time libra you the energies are finally working out in your favor don't give up like just keep persevering through like maintain this king of fire energy um because things are just you're so close just keep keep pushing through but make sure again libra from a balanced place i know you don't need to hear me tell you that but it's like i understand like when you've been fighting for so long for something or just been dealing with like a long drought for a while like it can be overwhelming right uh so let's get into your clarifiers right now we have the page of coins and the hermit card and then we also have the eight of coins a lot of coin cards so like contracts and stuff the star card and the knight of cups Ooh, libra this is such a loaded message here um so i always say this i associate the knight of cups with like bold um youthful energy so when it's in the when the knight is in the cup suit i feel like this is more of a like being more, I associate this with being more vulnerable, being more daring, letting your emotions be known. You know, you're venturing into the new territory of like potential connections. You're venturing into the new territory of even the relationship with yourself. Um, so maybe that's, it's, I feel like with this Knight of Cups energy, this one, not only is it giving you motivation to can like put yourself out there in this way, but when the Hermit card comes forward, I feel like, again, this is like a reminder 
of like with all this stuff going on right when you're receiving like these blessings when it comes to finances right the page of coins like this is like new money is coming in for you like new abundance is coming in for you page of coins and the eight of coins like contract like new contracts are coming in in that kind of way like and it goes perfectly with your nine of or six of air again we were talking about that public recognition libra so wrap this up though um the hermit card comes in where it's just like you're having so much abundance right in the star card comes in right so much abundance is coming in your your dreams are finally coming into fruition you're finally like you're seeing the manifestation finally coming through for you libra be sure to keep time for yourself be sure to recenter yourself to take 30 minutes even for yourself each day i feel like that's going to be the reminder and let's get into your last row libra we have the chariot card um we have the knave of discs and we have the four of wands now keep in mind libra this is i told you this is the row where it's going to be like some criticism from spirit right so this is like a the chariot card this is asking you to push forward still push forward because it makes sense like a lot like we talk about like the events moving at a fast pace libra like go forward with like if the this is going to be the uh time for you libra to go forward put knave of discs yeah, Nave of Discs, you look at this imagery, she's holding her, her heart out and it's connect, connected to the discs, right? So you would be wondering why is the heart connected to the disc, to the coins, when usually you would associate like the heart with like a fiery passion, like the wands or even a cups, right? So the imagery itself is kind of trippy, but when you think about it, she, she's holding her heart out there. She's bearing it all, like letting everyone see it. So be forward with this. Don't be afraid of letting your emotions and letting your thoughts and intentions be known. In the Four of Wands, you know, this is, again, like a reminder to those Libras who are looking for love or are looking for a connection. Because this doesn't have to be love. This could just be friendship. D don't be afraid to put yourself out there. That's what I feel. That's going to be like the th thing that you need to really focus on and remind yourself of, Libra. It's just like, don't be, really, it's just like, just don't be insecure. Don't be insecure with yourself and just be as vulnerable as possible. Bear it all. Bear your heart out for everyone to see because the right person's coming. Source, connecting to source and intimacy. So source and intimacy. So this is kind of leading to me that there's like some type of connection in terms of this is gonna be for a select few, but I feel like this is letting you know for the, there's a connection coming forward or whoever you're holding your heart out for, this is like divinely like inspired sort of thing. Or this could just be letting you know in terms of your career, like what you're doing, like your passion, like this is divinely inspired. But it's just beautiful, like when that came with the intimacy card as well. But um, yeah, beautiful Libra, such a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you, Libra. I hope this was helpful and gives you a sense of direction. Um, please let me know again in the comments below how this reading was helpful to you, and which card called out to you the most. But uh, I can't wait to connect with you soon again, Libra. Bye.